Hello? Can anybody see me? I'm not really sure if anybody's seeing me now. So I think people are starting to see me. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. I see Ashley. I see Diane. Hi, Diane. Hi, Ashley. Sorry about the delay. I had to reboot my computer and my phone. I'm going to wait a few more minutes for people to join. All right, let's see, let's see if, because uh, maybe people gave up since I wasn't on it. It was just not working. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. We're going to wait a few more minutes. Let's see if anybody else joins. So while we wait, if anybody has a question, the topic today is scalp and scalp care. But if you have any other questions, please go ahead and ask me while we wait for a few others to join. No questions. All right, um, Judy, hi, Judy. Um, Mary tells me that she just bought the shampoo and the conditioner. Can't wait to try. Well, do let us know how it goes, um, and thank you for for the, your purchase. So I'm gonna get started, and uh, hopefully you find this useful. So the topic for today was to talk about the scalp. A lot of people don't really understand what's going on, why it's important. So I thought I'd spend a few minutes today on that, and feel free to ask me any questions. So the first question is, the first thing is, what is the scalp? Well, obviously we all know the scalp is kind of the skin and the tissue that, that uh, covers our, the bones on our head. But why is it important for our hair? And basically, as we all know, and you all know, that's where our follicles are. And the follicles are um, just this um, tissue where, from where hair is going to grow. It's the structure from where your hair grows. Um, in your scalp also, it's where the sebaceous glands are, so the oil is produced from there. And underneath the first layer of the skin, there is a ton of um, capillary bases, so you have a lot of blood um, there. That's why when you hit your, you, know, you cut your head, it tends to bleed a lot. That blood is very important for hair as well, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But very importantly is what's going on with our scalp as we age, because that's that's the topic really that, that matters to all of us today. So the first thing that happens is your scalp gets thinner. And as it gets thinner, it's going to reduce that blood, blood flow that is so important. The other thing that happens is that your body is producing less collagen, uh, just like it is for your face. It's also happening um, on your scalp. And what happens is that your your hair, scalp is going to produce less protein and that's what hair is made of. So the thinning of the scalp and the lack of collagen is one of the things that happens. And then the third thing that happens is the hormonal changes and we've discussed this many times. So 
what happens is as you hit your perimenopause and then menopause, estrogen levels drop dramatically. And that when that happens, then other hormones raise more like the male hormones, which we are called, and they convert into DHT. DHT is kind of like a nasty hormone for your hair because it will attach to the follicle and it would either damage it or slow it down or just uh, kill it altogether. Um, the other thing that people tend to um, experience as the scalp ages is itchiness or dryness and many times that has to do with just inflammation of the scalp which is also part of the aging process so what can we do about it well you know it's not all bad news there's a lot of things that we can do about it and the first thing is um, I will say I'm not a physician I'm not gonna discuss anything that has to do with like hormonal therapy or drugs or anything like that but there are some very simple things that you can do the first thing is to clear out your scalp and why is that important? Because you wanna give your scalp like a healthy environment for the follicles to um, be healthy and active and, and grow hair. What happens is pollutants, sun, dead skin, product buildup, all those things can turn into free radicals. And that is also going to um, harm your scalp and your follicles and its ability to grow. So it's very important that you, you clear your scalp, you clean it thoroughly. And I'm gonna show you one of our um, most fun products is our scalp cleanser. So it's actually, um, it has uh, this silicone bristles attached and it's um, activated charcoal. So I'm gonna get a tissue, otherwise I'm gonna make a mess here. Um, when you, um, you see the product coming out, it's actually black, let's see if you can see that. It's actually black because it's activated charcoal. And you use this maybe once a week, maybe every other week to really detox and cleanse your scalp. So what this does, well, first of all, the bristles are going to massage and help uh, get rid of that buildup that you have. The charcoal is a very good um, oil absorbent. So it will absorb dirt and oils. But this product also has menthol lactate, which is going to soothe your scalp, um, which is something that a lot of women experience is this itchiness and dryness. This is gonna help with that. And then the lactic acid, is go it's, it, it will help dissolve all the debris that you have there. And finally, uh, this product has um, oleanolic acid, which is a, it's, it, it's a DHT inhibitor, so it's gonna get rid of that nasty hormone that I that I talked about earlier, it's in this product as well. So the first step is to really clear your skin, clear your scalp with a, this product or a similar product that will do something like this. Then the, the next thing you can do for your aging scalp is really to feed the follicles with the right nutrients and stimulate the follicles. So what's going, what happens is, um, as I talked before about the follicle where everything is happening. So how do you bring the right nutrients to it? So I'm gonna talk about our um, Better Not Younger Superpower Fortifying Hair and Scalp Serum. This product is packed with nutrients for your scalp and for your follicles. And it also helps stimulate the, the scalp and the follicles. So what happens is you want to use this product for two main reasons. One is to stimulate the follicles but also is to strengthen the hair that's going to grow and it's a very um, simple application it's a pipette or a dropper that you uh, you part your hair and you apply drops along your scalp you can you know part like this all along your scalp in the back and then a one one dropper is enough for your scalp it should be more than enough for your scalp and then you just gently massage it um, some women like to do it at night. Um, you can do it with wet hair, you can do it on dry hair, it doesn't matter. It's very, very light. It doesn't have any silicones or alcohol, so it's, it's not gonna dry your scalp and it's going to absorb super fast. I've just put it here on my, on my um, hand and you can see there's no shine because there's, no, there's nothing like oily in there. And so what's in this in this product and why is it like important for your for your aging scalp? Well, first of all, it's got um, caffeine and ginger. And what that does 
it's going that's it's just a natural stimulant for your for your follicles it's going to prompt the dormant follicles to sort of wake up because you're stimulating you're getting the right blood flow there um the other thing that it does um this product it has niacinamide which is a nourishment and a very important nourishment you probably know about niacinamide from your uh, skin products that is going to uh, nourish the follicle and nourish the skin. This product also has oleanolic acid that I talked about before, which is a DHT suppressor. Um, it will prevent the DHT from attaching to the follicle, which is actually very damaging to the follicle. Um, all these uh, nutrients um, are very, very important uh, to get that scalp balance that I talked about before and to nourish um, the follicle and also to stimulate blow, uh, blood flow into your scalp. Um, a lot of women also talk about um, itchiness. They talk about even um, the hair hurting or the scalp hurting. And it does happen to me sometimes. And that is, it's, it's, it comes from inflammation. Your scalp can be inflamed for many reasons. It could be because you're using too many products or it may be because you're uh, in very dry weather. It could be hormonal as well. And this product will certainly help you uh, with soothing that um, either one, actually this product will really help you soothing your itchy scalp and that kind of feel, uh, feeling of discomfort on your scalp. Um, so that that's kind of like the very basic things I wanted to say about the scalp. So I'm going to open it up for questions. But before I do that, because I forgot, today <laughs> we are going to give away a set of the scalp care set, which is the scalp serum that I just talked about. Sorry, the scalp cleanser, the scalp serum, and also our significant other vitamins, which I have here somewhere. So I did not eat them all, uh, which has all kinds of um, vitamin. It's a multivitamin. It's got biotin. It's got zinc, and it's also going to help with strengthening your hair. So the combination of these three products is really the best you can do for your scalp. And so what I'm going to do now, um, the first person that asks a question uh, will be the winner today of our our scalp set. A scalp care set. So let's see who is that person that asked the first question. Okay, let me see. Okay, waiting waiting to see who wants the giveaway. Who wants to win it? Uh, we have a few people here. First person to ask me a question will be the winner today. In the meantime, people are shy today, I did want to share with you uh, this little gadget that we have, which um, some women were saying that it's hard to, not as easy sometimes to apply um, the serum. And so, and Mary Cantillo, you just won. And I will answer your question in a minute. So congratulations. So what you can do is you, you Pour the um, the liquid here, and then you close it up, and then it's got these prongs that are retractable. And as you press on your scalp, a little bit of the serum I pressed it too hard will come out, and at the same time you're massaging your scalp, which is very important to stimulate uh, blood flow. So this. Uh, we call it the spaceship. We just launched it uh, a, couple, a few weeks ago, and it's really, really nice. I encourage you to try it. Um, we just started our Black Friday um, sale, so uh, we have some very good deals there. But this is a very, very nice way to get that serum with very, you know, well distributed um, across your scalp. Um, and yes, Mary, you're welcome. You have won today. Any other questions? What um, what other concerns do you have about the scalp? Did you um, understand about um, there? There are some women also that experience a lot of uh, dryness, uh, like I said before. Uh, but like I said, it sometimes uh, it's just a matter of getting rid of that inflammation 
on your scalp. Uh, you could have dandruff, but that, that you know, I, our products are not designed for that, but it, that is also a possibility. Um, then also uh, in terms of dryness of the hair, because that's something that uh, women talk a lot about. It is very, very common as you age with these hormonal changes that you will perceive much, much more dryness on your um, hair. So our butter mask is very, very good for that. You use it once a week or every other week, uh, leave it on for under a minute. And for those that are experiencing uh, dryness on the scalp, that could really also help you. Um, this mask has uh, five plant-based uh, butters. Let's see if I remember all of them. Avocado, butter, macadamia, murumuru, kupwasu, and mango butters, um, all plant-based. And um, it's very good also for your scalp. Um, there's a question from Ashley, how often to wash hair? Uh, I get this question a lot and the answer is it's best not to wash it every day. It's best to wash it every two days, even three days. Um, it is a personal choice, of course. Some people go to the gym every day and they just don't like that feeling. But it is better because you are, um, first, you're, you could be drying your scalp. Also, you may be overstimulating your um, sebaceous glands. The, the more you wash it, the more the hair uh, starts to produce um, oils. So sometimes people with oily hair, they just make it worse by um, washing it so often. It is better for your hair if you, if you wash it less of often. Uh, Mary's asking me about the scalp serum. The scalp serum we recommend that you use every day, uh, once a day. Uh, like I said before, um, use it at night, leave it on at night. You don't have to rinse it off. Uh, but some, some women I know like to use it right after the shower, um, right after they wash their hair, which is good too because your pores tend to be more open and it's, it's good to get, the, um, to get the serum inside that way. Um, let's see, what other questions do, do you have? What other concerns? Um, let's see. All right, so um, some, some women were asking me, how do I know what products to choose? Um, and I know it can be very confusing sometimes. So on our website, we have a um, hair quiz. It's very easy to fill out. It's last, less than 90 seconds to do it. And it will tell you the products that you need to pick for your condition. And if you're still not sure about that, uh, we have a, a telephone number on our website and our um, dear Sophia and our team will guide you through, through which products to, to buy that are right for you. So if we don't have any other questions, I'm going to wrap it up and congratulate Mary again for the products and please let us know of any other topics that you want us to discuss in the future. Uh, more than happy. We're trying to make this very educational and, and work for you. So please let us know and everyone have a, a wonderful weekend. Thanks everyone. Bye.